Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is the Nectar Pacer MIDI Foot Controller. If you're looking to control your MIDI synth or your favorite door from a foot pedal, then the Nectar Pacer might just be what you're looking for. It's about the length of your foot wide and about twice that in length. It's actually heavier than I was expecting, but that does mean it doesn't slide across the floor and it feels gig ready. In the box, you get this really long USB cable that feels like it's about three meters long. And this manual, which I have to say is probably the best manual that I've read in years. You also get a registration card so you can register the Nectar online. And on the other side of the registration card is a license number, so you can download a version of Bitwig. On the back is a power socket for a power adapter that is not included, a USB port, a MIDI DIN out socket, two expression pedal sockets, two foot switch sockets, and two relay sockets. On the top surface are 11 foot switches, one that is fixed as a preset select switch for selecting any one of the 24 presets, and 10 that you can program to send CC, note, program change, NRPN, MCC, and relay messages. You can also set the foot switches to send preset and control step messages that change the settings of the pacer itself. When the pacer is connected to a supported door, two of the 10 foot switches automatically become track and transport switches. These will give you access to preset door commands. And these functions work really well in Pro Tools, Bitwig, Logic, and GarageBand. The other eight foot switches work normally as the foot switches of your chosen preset. Here I have them set as CC to control further door functions through the door MIDI learn function. The pacer also works well away from the computer. Here I'm powering it with a power bank using the USB cable plugged into the USB port and a MIDI DIN cable connecting it to my MIDI synth. I've set up some of the switches as program change so they change the sound of the synth and other switches so they play a note. Now this other switch that I've set up for notes is interesting because I've set it up as a note trigger which means when I press on the switch, it'll turn on the note. And when I press the switch again, it'll turn the note off. So when I press it the first time, the note will come on and it will stay on until I press it the second time. So, is the Nectar Pacer worth buying? Well, it is quite big and it's quite heavy, but the ability to power it from a power bank does make it pretty portable. And the settings for the 10 customizable foot switches do cover everything I could need. And the ability to add even more pedals is really cool. I bought the Pacer for playing live and for that, yes, I think it's worth buying. But having used it in Pro Tools on my computer, I actually think, with a bit of setting up, that it's probably worth buying to use in Pro Tools as well.